hi there ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel of course thanks for watching and uh, I've got the uh, Hell Cherokee from Hobby King out for a 1700 millimeter powered uh, glider EDF part on the top uh, yes you can also uh, tow launch it but I'll be using the motor today um, yeah made a flight let's see how it does uh, no things to add to that really uh, yeah I'm gonna be flying it on an 1800 3S should be uh, just fine the specs say that you should use a 1500 but I uh, contacted uh, Hobby King about that and they say an 1800 will do just fine as well so here we go quick pre-flight check right aileron left aileron Elevator up, down, rudder to the right, rudder to the left, and the motor works. I have to say that uh, the motor sounds uh, terrible, really. Uh, the fan doesn't sound balanced at all. Uh, maybe it'll shave itself off after a few flights, but uh, yeah, it doesn't sound very fluent. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it does need uh, at least 80% throttle to take off. Uh, maybe with a little more wind, I could have gotten away with less throttle. Uh, let's do a little trimming. I have to do a little aileron trimming. Uh, I'm sorry about the grey sky, by the way. And bit of elevator down it actually seems a little tail heavy which is unexpected nice amount of speed ah you can corner it at a, at a very short distance I like that um, it would have been nice to have a little more speed, but it's not bad. Obviously. Yeah, you can really see and hear that uh, it, the, the wing doesn't generate a lot of uh, uh, wind resistance. Cool stuff. Okay, I'm gonna take it up a little higher and uh, then it'll, it'll be hard to see for you, but I wanna do a glide test with it as well, of course. Okay, we switch off the motor and there we go. Huh, doesn't lose a lot of speed. Still very controllable as well. Nice, cool stuff. I especially like how tight you can turn it. You don't need a lot of space to uh, bring it about. Uh, the aileron uh, throw seems oh, seem okay. And what does the rudder do? Oh, that's pretty good. Nice amount of rudder control. Uh, can we do a looping? Probably. Yeah, very tight looping uh, actually. And uh, again I'm gonna take it up a little higher to see if it uh, wants to do inverted flying. Yeah. Um, it doesn't seem to be a fan of inverted flying. It flies completely different inverted and it really wants to revert back. And I stalled it. Huh. Oh, it did it, it 
really, really didn't want to fly inverted. Surprising. All right, let's see what kind of damage we have. A walk of shame. It actually didn't look terrible, the, the, the landing. Um, if you are wondering, I can do inverted flying pretty, pretty well, I should say. Uh, yes, we do have a little damage. Okay, the canopy has come off. Uh, that's that's no, not damaged. And the motor pod has come off. Now, um, yeah, that's not nice, of course, but uh, I plan to fly the plane with the motor pod on only, so I'll just glue it better back on and then that'll be good to go. Huh. Doesn't like inverted flying. Does it still work, by the way? Yep, it does still work. Okie dokie, well then we'll, uh, like I said, we'll uh, glue the motor pod, pod back on with a little epoxy maybe and uh, then it'll be ready for the second flight. <laughs> yep, yes, not, not every maiden flight goes as intended. Huh, weird, very, very weird on the inverted flying. Oh well, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, probably you uh, probably see more of this plane on my channel in the near future. And I uh, hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.